Hola, in this video we are going to install Windows Server 2016 with the desktop experience. We are going to use the eval uh, version, which you can find uh, right here on microsoft.com uh, slash en us eval center. I'll, I'll put this URL beneath the video. Uh, it is a evaluation that's good for 180 days, Windows Server 2016. That's what we're evaluating. And when you install this, when you download it, you have to put in some information. Uh, it doesn't have to be like your real email address or real name. Uh, it just gets you past that screen to the download button. I've already downloaded it on mine. Uh, but something worth noting is there's a few different installation options. Uh, a lot of people think Windows has to come with a GUI, but it is possible to install this one as a server core. Uh, this does not have a GUI. So this would be like a headless deployment, and you'll manage everything via PowerShell. For our experience, we're going to install with the desktop experience, uh, which allows us to have a normal GUI. I just want to point out, though, that it is possible to install this headless, as they say, so it's just like an Ubuntu server or a Linux server or any other servers without a GUI. A lot of people seem to think that you have to have a GUI with Microsoft, uh, but you do not. So I've already downloaded this. So the next step is to get this running in VirtualBox. VirtualBox is our environment. We're going to create a new virtual machine. <clears throat> We're going to call this Windows server 2016 uh, with uh, 2016 desktop. We'll just call it that. And you notice that VirtualBox tries to go ahead and fill in the correct type and version, which you got right there. I'm going to make this 4 gig of RAM. Whoops, it's going the wrong way. 4 gig. Uh, the, we'll create the disk now as 50 gig. That's fine. We'll use the VDI format, that's fine. We'll do dynamically allocated, which will make the disk uh, only as large as it's needed, but it's a little bit slower on the system. If we just chose fixed size, the disk will be 50 gig, um, and it's a little bit faster, but I'm concerned more with space than speed right now. This is the name of the file, 50 gig. It will be in this directory on my D drive called uh, Windows Server 2016 desktop.vdi. That's the actual hard drive, the virtual hard drive. Create that. And now we have everything set up. So all we're doing so far is setting up the environment. We still have to install the operating system. I'm going to make one of the change here. That's the number of CPUs. So if we go to system, processor, I'm going to change it up to four CPUs. That's quite a bit, but I want this machine to be relatively fast for now. We can always crank that down later. So now we have basically the platform set up, the virtual machine, but we still have to install the operating system on the virtual machine. So I'll click on start here. And the next step is to boot off of the ISO file that we downloaded. We'll browse that ISO file. Mine is in downloads right here. And this is it, 2016 data center eval. We'll start that. It's gonna boot off of the ISO. So it'll take a little while here. I'll pause and then we'll come back to this. <clears throat> Click on next here, install now. There'll be a couple more options here. One of them including uh, which version we want to choose, uh, one with the desktop experience and one without. Here's that option. We are going to do Windows Server 2016 standard evaluation with the desktop experience. So right here, it even tells you it's useful when a GUI is required. Uh, it's not required really for what we're doing, but it makes it a lot easier. If this is an operational server you, and you do not need a GUI, then you should choose the standard or the data center eval. Well, not the eval, but the operational copy, the license copy. This is where it'll take some time. It's gonna copy a bunch of files from the ISO after we accept this agreement here. 
We're going to do a custom. We're not upgrading. Go ahead and click next there. That's fine. And there it goes. So I'll come back to the video after this is wrapped up, this install. Okay, it looks like it finally has uh, rebooted and almost finished the install. Let's see if it comes up here. Once this comes up, we want to check out a couple things in terms of the Windows firewall. So we'll give this a few minutes to come up. Okay, so it's finally came back up. Now we are going to set the administrator password. It's going to force you to use a complex password. I'll put one in here. Click on finish. I'll go to scaled mode here as well, so this will be a little bit easier to see. <clears throat> so I just hit, I just hit uh, the host key, which is the right control button, and C to go to scaled mode. Now to log on, the host key again and the delete key. That sends a control out delete uh, to the virtual machine from VirtualBox. Looks like it's still coming up here. We'll verify we have internet cut connectivity and check a couple things uh, as well. All right, looks like the GUI has finally come up. So let's verify we have internet connectivity and we'll check out the system settings real quick as well. Uh, go to PowerShell right here. Uh, nope. Here we go, PowerShell is finally coming back up. So we're just gonna do an IP config and validate we have an IP address which should have been assigned via DHCP from the VirtualBox application. Okay, so let's type IP config. It's still uh, not quite responsive yet. We'll give it another second. Uh, the very first time you bring up the server, it will be a little bit slow, but it should speed up after that. IP config. And we should have an IP address of uh, 1002.15. That's the default for VirtualBox. So we should have internet connectivity. And we can ping 10.1.1.1. So let's stop that. So we hit, we're good to go there. Uh, we're not going to configure any new roles yet for this. So go ahead and close server manager. And let's just check the settings to see how it's currently configured. So we'll go to settings there. When this comes up, we're going to go to system. We'll scroll down to the bottom over here, go to about. And our name of our computer is this right here. This is the default name it came up with. Uh, we're part of a work group, so we can join it to a domain later. And this is the version of Windows we installed, 2016 standard. We're doing an evaluation, uh, version 1607. This is the OS build number, etc. We click on system info here. This is where if we want to add it to a domain later, we could do that. So let's see if this comes up. There we go. It also gives us uh, the amount of RAM we specified, etc. So right here is where we change it to add it to a domain. So congratulations, you've installed Windows Server 2016 with the desk, desktop experience. Uh, in the next video, we're going to look at a couple things uh, that deal with IIS and um, the Windows Firewall. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them beneath the video. Hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day. Ciao.